it's Shannon from CKC. How are you guys doing today? I just got this huge box of fabric and uh, I wanted to unbox it. And I thought that it would be fun to do it with you guys. So, I think it's sideways right now. If uh, there's anyone on, say hi. I'll wait a couple minutes until we have some people. and my dogs are down here and they're being a little crazy. I tried to like give them treats so they would stay upstairs. But why would they do that? It's too exciting to be by me. Plus you should have seen me struggle to bring this box to the basement. Oh my god. They were very curious. Happy Friday guys. Hi Kylie. Hi Diane. Hi Susanna. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I'm unboxing like 60 yards of fabric right now. It's like the biggest order I've ever made. Actually it was two orders. All right, so, oh my God. first up I have this black Ponty. I think that's how you say it, Ponty. I'm gonna make some leggings out of this because it's um, like a sturdier, thicker fabric, but it's super stretchy. Hi Shay, hi Tanya. So this is like perfect for uh, leggings. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I got this um, animal print Hashi knit. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Probably make a sweater or something amazing, I'm sure. I love this. I'm so happy that it is sweater weather. I mean, I'm not happy because I like summer, but it's fun to work with like some new fabrics. I got this haunted house fabric. I'm gonna make some leggings for Char. Maybe make a shirt with the um, extra fabric, the leftovers. I only got a yard of this, but that'll be enough for leggings and a shirt. I like to make the sleeves of Sydney's out of this and then I use a solid color for the bodice and I like to put um, like heat transfer on there. That's fun. I got this galaxy print. I was so excited that this was back and I got some because I tried to buy it for a while I think and it was not in stock. Oh I'm gonna make um, I think leggings or something for Char out of this. Hi Cassandra, hi Tiffany, hi Kara. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I got this teal Alexis I think this is. I can't even believe I remember that. But I got this, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's double brush poly. I always buy like two yards um, when I know that I'm gonna make something for myself because that usually covers it. Hi Michelle. I got two yards of this. This one I cannot remember the name of. Um, what did I do with that paper? That might help me. I noticed that I kind of stick to the same colors all the time. Which one, Tiffany? And so I'm trying to um, pick some colors outside of my comfort zone. Oh yeah, this is the Jerry. This is Jerry. It's Mauve Jerry. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to make. I never know what I'm going to make when I buy stuff. I just buy whatever I think is pretty and let the fabric inspire me later. I got two yards of this. I think it's called Plaid Monica's. I've had the Monica's in a couple different colorways. And I saw Jessica make something out of this. And it was really cute. So I decided that I wanted it. Hi, Christy. I'm so excited about this. Uh, this is the Ellis. I bought this. It's double brush poly. I made 
in my project run and play the last week I made the boho theme stuff and I made a pair of Marshas out of this and I want I got more because I want to make more Marshas I want to make one for Charlotte and maybe me I don't know we'll see I don't think I can pull off the boho look okay this is French Terry oh my god this is so soft what is this one called this one is the one second the Solid Dark Teal Brushed French Terry. Oh my God, this is so soft. I cannot wait to use this. This might be one of the first things I sew with. Oh, I love this color and it's so soft. I'll probably make a sweatshirt or anything. Oh, Candace, you're so cute. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I just hit my cord. I gotta find another spot to stack this fabric. All right. Here's the next thing. I got this Gabriella, and it's orange, which is not a color that I would ever wear, personally. But I thought that it would be cute to make like a Halloween shirt, like a Sydney's or something. Use this for the sleeves, so that way it can be like worn other times, but I'm gonna use it for Charlotte. It's really cute. And it's soft and stretchy. I love this. Oh, it's brand spandex. My bad. Brand spandex. Love it. Brand spandex is one of my favorite um, things to sew with. I love how silky it is and drapey. What is what is this? This is the Mocha Brushed Hashi Sweater Knit. I got a few of these like heathered sweater knits in different colors. And so I wanted to go back and make sure that I got the rest of the colors. Hi Kelly. So the Smoka brushed Hashi. Oh, so soft. Ooh. I love Buffalo plaid. Obviously, I'm wearing it on my shirt right now and on my feet actually. <laughs> but I wanted to get this colorway. This is a super brushed Hashi which I love. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I'm saying it right, but I've been known to say things wrong. So, uh, this is so soft. I don't know what I'm going to make with it. I wasn't kind of sure what kind of fabric it was when I bought it. I just saw Hashi and I was like, I'm in. But it's, um, really comfortable and soft. Hey, stop barking. I'm making a video. Shh, come here. Come here. You want to see my puppy? Come here. Here he is. He's getting so big now. Say hi. Let's see. Oh yeah, the mocha brush Tashi. So soft. Um, you asked Michelle what would I make with this fabric? Which one? If with this one I'm going to make, I don't know, a sweater of some sort. I have some patterns that I'm working on, so you'll just have to wait and see. This is the teal super brushed, yeah, super brushed Hashi. Oh, thanks Shay, he's my little baby. Um, this one is just like the white one, just a different colorway. I tend to stick to blues, blacks, darker colors a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I got um, in a bundle last month maybe, or earlier this month, I don't know, they all blend together. I got some of this waffle knit, and I only got a little bit of it um, because I wanted to see what it was like first, and I absolutely love it. This is super soft. I'm gonna make some sweaters. It's not super thick, but it just feels so soft and has a nice weight to it. I also might make some shirts that I can make it look like it's layered, but it's not actually layered. So I got this color and I got another color, but I don't see it right off the top. This one is, I think it was called like autumn or something. Looking. I don't know. I don't see where the color is. I don't think this is the rust. Maybe this is the rust. 
This might be the rest. I got two more Pontes. I got this ruby and this olive, so I can make, I think I'm gonna make some Jadas with one or both of these. Either way, I'm gonna make some pants or leggings. Hi, Tasha, hi, Shannon, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so Pontes, I'm super excited to make some leggings and stuff out of that. I stick with a lot of jewel tones. This is a Hashi that I had to have um, because it's got lots of fun colors in it. I love this like teal and yellow and orange and like burgundy. So it'll go with a lot of things. So I can make a sweater or something out of this and wear it with a lot of different things. It's so soft and super stretchy. Look at this stretch on it. Can't, it doesn't really look like you can tell, but it's super stretchy. <laughs> oh, here's another waffle knit I got. I bought a, a diff couple different colors because I was really in love with this fabric. So I got the olive. And I got this, I think it was called Marble Tie-Dye French Terry. I actually saw something on line made out of this fabric or a different color of this kind of fabric and so I bought it with that in mind I'm gonna try to recreate it hi Laura oh my gosh this is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life what is this this is some sort of Hashi I have to figure out what the name of this one is Oh, this is the brushed Hashi. Okay, this brushed Hashi stuff, because the um, buffalo plaids were out of that too, but this is so soft. Oh my gosh, it's like a super fancy sweater knit, it feels like. Super expensive. Oh, it's so soft. Hi, Jessica. I know, isn't it amazing? I love it. I'm definitely going to need to buy more colors of that, if there are more. Fingers crossed. And then I got this striped. I'm not like normally a big striped person, but I was like, hey, I'll give it a whirl. So I got this one. I know it does feel like baby bunnies. It totally does. This brushed Hashi, oh my God, it's so soft. You do need to try some Hashi. Really, it gets softer? Oh my God, I cannot wait to use it. Yeah, so I just got, um, this Hashi, uh, what is it called? It was called Mustard Fuchsia Teal Wide Stripes. And I got three yards of this. Um, I think I might make like a maxi cardigan out of this. I thought that might be fun, not sure yet. It could be something else by the time I finally use it. Hi, Cindy. So this, I love the colors, it's super bright and fun. So I can't wait to sew with that. Oh, I got another waffle knit. This one is like a charcoal-y brownish color. I kind of like it. Really cute, really soft. Please don't fall over pile. All right, this one is another Hashi that I got. Um, I got this one specifically because my kids play hockey and they're on a hockey team that's black, red, and white, so I'm going to make a sweater or something out of this, and I can't wait to wear it to the games and look stylish, and not like all the other hockey moms. Hi, Michelle. One second. Ooh, the rust wa waffle and the teal super brushed. Yes. Ooh, rust waffle and teal, these two. That's what these two look like. I like them because actually either one could go with this fabric right here. Got this one, matches perfectly. 
and this matches perfectly. I got a lot of the same colors I'm realizing, but that's good. I know this box is like Mary Poppins purse. It just keeps coming. I'm almost done though. I am almost done. Um, this is more Ponte. I think this was the black denim. One of these was black denim looking and one was just solid black. And one, I think the one that's the black denim, I'm going to make a pair of, uh, J, Jada's for sure. Or Jayla's? I keep messing them up. I just came out with Jada's and they're, maybe, I can't, re I can't remember. There's Jada's and Jayla's. One of them is leggings. Moto pants. This is the Distressed. It's so pretty. I've never bought any of the Distressed before. So I'm pretty excited. I should be sewing too. And the I had a phone call. The sad thing is when I'm done with this, I have to put everything away because I have to sew my daughter's Halloween costume because we have a Halloween party. So sad for me. Here is another. I got the ivory one too. But I've never bought any of those stress and I was like, ah, I gotta get some. So I'm super excited to sew with these. Don't ask me what I'm gonna make with them because I really have no idea. So I have the ivory and the purple. Cute. I like purple, but I don't I don't wear it enough. And last we have I have no idea what this is. What is this? Some sort of French terry, it feels like. Oh, this is the solid deep purple modal cotton French terry. I wanted to try um, this Modal French Terry because Modal is one of my favorite fabrics to sew with because it's super, um, I don't know, I just really like the weight and drape and everything. Oh, Greatest Showman costume. Fun. My daughter's going to be Little Red Riding Hood. And we're going to dress up our big dog as the big bad wolf and my son is going to be the hunter so it'll be cute but anyways that is that's the end of the box there's never enough fabric right is there any fabric that you guys wanted to see again or want me to answer any answer any questions about them in case I missed there was a lot of conversation going on and I didn't think I saw very much of it Last chance, last chance. Any last questions? All right. Well, thanks guys for hanging out with me while I unbox this. I had a lot of fun. Um, it's way more fun to talk about the fabric with other people. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. I can't wait uh, to show you guys some things that I start making. So bye, have a good Friday, happy weekend. Oh, did it?